Hello, I'm Mr. Tie-Dye and today I'm going to show you how I do a fan fold on a hoodie. So what I've done, I pre-washed the hoodie, I soaked it in soda ash for 20 minutes, spun it out so now it's just barely damp and that's the, my preferred method for folding uh, unless I'm tying up a mandala then I will do that dry. Anyways, for this one here what I'm going to do is first draw my uh, fan fold on there, my arc on there and the way that I like to do that best is I take one of these washable markers put a little slip knot in it tie a string to it and then it's just a matter of figuring out where you want your arc to be so I just kinda play around with it until I kinda have the arc the size that I want it and once you have that then I just make sure to hold this string tight here pull out to the full extent of the string and then you can draw your line on there And now that we got that, we're going to start folding this up and get it tied up. So there's my mark. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start folding from down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to do just an accordion fold. And the main thing is just keeping this line straight and on top of all my creases. So I'm going to start down here at the bottom and just start accordion folding all the way up this whole half circle and I just keep pushing the hoodie around just trying to bring that line straight in to where I'm folding at here I just find it's easier for me and I can just keep pulling more of it towards me So now I went off of the sleeve part way, so what I'm going to do is I'll fold to the end of this line and then I'm just going to move this fabric around and I'm just going to pick up right where I left off at on this crease here. You just have to kind of arrange your fabric here and then I'm just going to lay that, well I'll fold it first a little bit, fold it down and line it up right there and then fold it down just like we have been folding the whole whole time there so now that's joined in there so that's going to continue my arc down on the end of the sleeve okay once I got that all done then I try to make sure that all of my lines are fairly straight going across here so I'll kind of do some adjustment here if needed and once I have it the way that I want it, then I'll grab my kite string again. And then I'm going to tie this up nice and tight here. Well, actually, it's not really tight. It's just tight enough just to hold things together. Since this is a hoodie, I want to make sure that I don't gather it too tight or my dye won't get down inside or... I want to be able to open up the creases some to look inside to check for dye saturation. So I usually wrap that up around a few times. I'll tie up above my line just a little bit just to make sure I keep that a nice arc in there as I'm gathering things. Once I have that tied off, then I'm going to just adjust all of my creases here get them lined up nice and flat and then kind of push together here so I just try to continue whatever accordion folds I have here I'm just trying to continue them out into this little pocket here and once you get that then you just slowly wrap it up too For this I just use my kite string. I do have a video on kite string or sinew that shows how I use both and kind of explains when and why. For this here I want it just tight enough to hold together 
with the sinew, I would probably do soak it, let it dry, and then tie it up. And I'd probably be doing like a mandela or something for sinew. But I'll put a link to that in the description in case you haven't seen the kite string and sinew video. Okay. So now this here is the arc part under this under the arm and on half of the front. So we're gonna tie that off and then I'm just gonna scrunch up the rest of this hoodie. And I'll usually go ahead and leave that tied just there's no sense in cutting the tie only to start it again here. So now for the rest of the hoodie I just kind of lay everything out as flat as I can. Especially the hood I like to try to flatten that out so I kind of turn the inside out just a little bit so that I can lay the hood flat and then just a nice scrunch on the whole thing. And a nice thing with the kite string is it allows me to start tying things up before I've actually folded everything. Sometimes with a hoodie, it's hard to get everything folded up just the way you want it before you're ready to start tying it. I used to do it with rubber bands and that was a little bit difficult. You start putting rubber bands on and then you're still trying to fold it and then adjust underneath the rubber bands. This way I can tie up what I want to. It holds in place while I scrunch up some more and then I can go along and make adjustments on here. And I buy my kite string from Ace Hardware. Okay, so there's my hoodie now. So what I'm going to do is use my cuticle pusher to kind of adjust some of these folds a little bit, poke some of these thicker areas down deeper inside. So I'm going to do rainbow colors on here, so let me get my die set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my rainbow colors lined out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with my fuchsia, but I'm going to start above my arc line here. So I'm going to go right up close to the zipper here. And like I say, die placement is kind of a personal choice. You can put your circle on where you want and then put your dies on where you want also. So I usually, with the hoodies, like to get a good first coat on there, so I'll kind of poke the dye bottle down inside the, the creases there, just to get a good saturation there. So here I'm putting a lighter shade of purple down and then I'm going to cover over top of that with a darker shade. Purple is going to be the main color of this hoodie here with the rainbow arc on the or fan fold on the side and the sleeve. So now what I'm going to do is color 
the first part of the hoodie, I'm going to use my light purple here. So this one here, I want to kind of get it down deeper into the crevices, so I kind of just tap the bottle. It might sound like pounding the bottle on the video. Let's just get the, the purple color down deeper into these cracks and crevices here. And I'm going to open everything up and take a look in there to see how the saturation is once I get it coated the first time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. That way I can give that light purple a chance to soak in more. And I'm going to go ahead and put the light purple on this side too, just so that it can start soaking deeper in and then I'm going to coat over top of this with the darker purple. Hoodies soak up a lot of dye, so when you start dyeing a hoodie, you need to be prepared to use a lot of dye. Alright, now let's open up some of these cracks here. Go ahead and come in a little closer. So what we're going to do is open some of these up and see... I can still see that I have some white down in there. And I'll kind of just go around and just check to see if I just missed one spot or if all of it is that way. So it's fairly easy just to reach in there as long as you haven't... Oh, let me zoom back out. As long as you haven't tied it too tight, you can open up and look and see and I can see several white spots so I know that I need to go a little heavier with my dye here or I can even take some of my lighter dye and squirt that down in there in the middle so this is something you can just open up the cracks just pick them up push on them a little bit get them to open and then squirt dye down in there so if you're using two colors you can take the second the lighter color and squeeze that down inside and that'll just give you a little bit of depth to your color create more patterning and this is one definitely you want to wear gloves for you're gonna get <laughs> seriously purple hands okay once I get this side done, then I'm going to flip it over and check the other side. Oh, oh, I still have to put the dark purple on, but when I'm done with that, then I'll open up these creases on the other side and check them to see if they need to have some more dye squirted down inside. And that's the trick to getting good saturation on a hoodie, is just continuing to add more dye going back and opening these cracks and crevices up and looking inside there. Um, you can also use your uh, cuticle pusher and make sure your hand is clean. So I try to wipe all the dye off my fingers here as I'm going to start checking some of these other colors here. And if you open up right on the line then you can check out both colors usually and then just have to wipe your fingers and tool up just one time in between each of the colors. So I can see I got good saturation out here on this part. So it's just the 
the main body of the hoodie here that we're going to go back over again. So I'm going to flip this over. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing here. I can see that I got white on this other side too. So I'm going to take my lighter purple and go along and add some of that down here into some of these pockets of white. Like I say, sometimes you can just stick your hand underneath and push up on some of these cracks and get them to reveal the white there. And other times you can just kind of peel them open that way. So whatever works for you. When you're dealing with just one color, like the majority of this is all purple, I don't have to keep washing my hand in between time. So I can just kind of go along, open up all these little cracks, and do all of this before I have to wipe my hand off when I go into that part of the hoodie. about done with the purple. I just need to over one more coat here. Like I say, these hoodies, they are going to take a lot of dye. So you just have to keep poking it down in there and checking to see where more dye can fit in. And by fit in, I mean into the white spots. Alright, this all looks good on this side too. This here is a little bit thinner uh, where I did the, all the accordion folding, so it's easier to get that saturated. So that's all looking good. I can't really see any white down in there, so I'm going to call this good. So in just a couple seconds, you're going to see the results. But in the meantime, I'm going to let this set up uh, for 48 hours, and then I'm going to wash it and rinse it, and you'll see the results in a minute. Thank you for watching. Please like and share my videos.